Hey, what's up guys? My name is Woods Gaming and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. Now in this video today guys, I'll be walking through you guys on how to get to um, light level or power level 300 in Destiny 2 before the raid. Now obviously you want to get to 300 or at least something close before the raid comes out so you're prepped and ready to go. Now before we get into the video guys, as always, drop a like on this video. Let's get this video to at least 20 likes and of course if you're new to my channel, head on onto there, subscribe and turn the notification on so you do not miss out on any of my future videos. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the actual content. Now guys, they won't be showing any glitches but we'll be walking through you guys on how to actually get to power level 300 and how I've managed to get to light level 184 uh, 284 sorry so first of all guys what you want to do is obviously make one main character and what I've gone and done is I've made a second hunter now I usually make three hunters and then later on delete them one by one but that's not the point so make two of these two characters and after me it doesn't matter if it's the same or not and what you want to do is run the whole entire story again yes that does sound quite long but there is a whole point to this now once you complete the storyline you're guaranteed one exotic from Zavala now there are other exotics which I'll get onto in a moment. Now this exotic can be um, opened at any time as you like. So you can speak to Zavala later on when you're a high light level when you really need that exotic and you can open it then it'll be something, it'll be dropped something high. It's not like exotics where you pick them off of the floor um, and you know it's it's actually going to be dropped at that light level and it'll be locked onto that light level. So do not worry. Now, obviously, it does sound quite long running through the story again, but what you want to do is run it with a fire team of two or three and have fire team medallions on. Now, those are a huge game changer. Now, what me and my team did was we actually did all the story up until about level eight, where it said you have to proceed. If you want to proceed, you have to get to level 11. From there, we just went on to Titan and did public events, heroic public events. Now, if you don't know how to do heroic public events, there's another video out there somewhere on YouTube. I won't be covering it. It's very simple. Let's go and check it out. Now you want to do these heroic events until you get to 20. Once you're 20 on your second character, you will have unlocked um, the rest of the missions to complete the rest of the missions. And then you will get Zavala and the rest of the milestones unlocked. Sorry. So that's one exotic engram that you can get from Zavala. Now there's powerful legendary engram. Of course, you can redo the Nightfall again. That's another legendary engram that can possibly give you something higher than what you have so far. That's another engram right there. Now there's so there's another exotic and a, a powerful legendary engram. Now keep in mind, powerful legendary engrams are pretty much like exotic engrams. They uh, drop at a higher power level. Now this is this is something pretty cool. So basically, obviously you get unlocked every milestone uh, every time you unlock a new character. So that's one thing as well to keep in mind. Now Hawkthorn gives you a milestone for being in a clan, and it says complete certain events and activities in Crucible or raid or strike or whatever. Um, and there's a certain percentage to it. Once you got that complete, it gives you a powerful legendary engram. Now also alongside it, you get an exotic engram. Now I'm not sure if I was lucky to get this, but I've got it twice already on my main character and the second one. Now this is exactly what happened to me. So once I got it done on one character, the milestone, I switched over to my second one without knowing how, how this would work. Switch over to my second one. Search for a Crucible game. As I'm searching for a Crucible game, the milestone automatically completed. Now, keep in mind, you have to complete at least 10 games to get this milestone completed. It doesn't matter if it's Crucible or me doing a strike, but you just got to complete a certain amount and get the percentage up. So I was like, what the fuck? So when I got it done, I, um, I went straight back to Hawkthorn in the tower and boom, a legendary engram and an exotic. When I say legendary, I always mean powerful in this video. So how awesome is that? I, I instantly went up a few light levels and that's another way of doing it. So if you want, you can make a third character and if this is a glitch, then there you go. The milestone will be automatically completed as soon as you find one match of Crucible. And there you go. That's another exotic and a powerful legendary engram. And not to forget guys, you can do the exotic weapon quest again. So you can get the medium multi-tool, uh, the Rat King uh, 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 pistol, and also, if I'm not mistaken, there's another one which I can't really remember the name on. I think it's the Drang one. Yeah, the Drang. And there's a fourth one, but you need to do the raid for that one, I believe. But guys, that's exactly, that's four exotics. Well, three considering the raid isn't out yet. But that's three exotics that will level you up even more. Because once you get the exotic weapon, it will drop at that level. And the legendary weapon that you get, so you get the mid medium mini multi-tool. That will drop at the level you are currently at. So all these methods are... Um, are crucial and vital to level you up. Now these are they are they will take you a, a, maybe a day or two to do, 
but honestly it is definitely worth it it is way more um guaranteed to get you exotics than going out there and farming public events yes they do work but i've recently realized that public events have been dropping me less exotics but then again guys if you have medallions on it will it will, it's a game changer so guys like i said make a second character and even a third i'm going for my third character just today and I wanna, I'm, I'll be grinding and I'll, I'll hopefully get to 290 before the raid. Honestly guys, this is a very good method of getting exotics. Like these exotics are guaranteed. I wish I recorded some footage of me picking up the engrams. But I'm telling you guys now, you can trust me. These exotics are actually guaranteed. So go and head out there. Instead of farming or whatever you're doing, playing crucible to get these ex exotics or doing public events. Forget all of that. That is all shit. Go straight onto your second character and third and grind those characters up to 20 like i said get a fire team of two or three put a fire team medallion on and grind through those public events at the same time you'll be, you might get exotics from that but once you're 20 i told you you get the hawkthorn you get the volo you get the milestones and also you get the exotic weapon um quests which will give you something higher so all of this guys adds up and you get will guarantee to get to a highlight level hopefully 290 and once you're 280 guys you've got the mods the weapon mods will get you to 285 guaranteed so from there if you want you can actually save your engams and open them up at 285 because that's when it will get quite hard to level up open the exotics at 285 and boom guys you are going to be 290 in no time hopefully 300 now guys if this video did help you out i'm sorry if it was quite lengthy i tried to put in as much as information in there as possible for you guys so you guys can enjoy yourself and get to a highlight level possible but other than that guys that was pretty much it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like favorite and also subscribe let's get this video to at least 20 likes if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of my future content but only other than that guys my name is with gaming have a wonderful day and as always peace out <laughs>